All righty. A uh, quick announcement here. I want to cover something about Louisiana. If you live in Louisiana, you need to know about this. This is happening uh, this weekend. Actually, tomorrow, you need to know about this. If you haven't had a chance to do so, hit that like button. That helps me with the algo. But for those of you in Louisiana, it looks like you have something to vote for tomorrow. It says that Louisiana does not feature the power of initiative for either citizen initiated constitutional amendments or initiated state statutes. Only the Louisiana legislature has the power to bring forth initiatives as legislatively referred constitutional amendment to amend the constitution by voter ratification. The following will appear on the ballot this Saturday, October 14th. So tomorrow, Louisiana amendment one ban on private or foreign funding of election cost amendment, October, 2023. A yes vote supports prohibiting state and local governments from using funds, goods, and services donated by foreign governments or non-governmental private sources for the purpose of conducting elections. What would this do? The amendment would prohibit funds, goods, and services donated by a foreign government or non-governmental private source for use in conducting elections. Specifically, it would add a provision to the Louisiana Constitution stating that no funds, goods, or services donated by a foreign government or a non-governmental source shall be used to conduct elections unless provided for in the election code and subject to restrictions provided by general law. A note here that Roger added, we have a bill like this one. We have a bill like this that passed, but not the other close to New York Democracy Preservation Act. Don't know what the holdup is. Who's supporting this? State Representative Blake uh, Miguez. Miguez? Uh, Association of Mature American Citizens, one of the organizations supporting it, Louisiana Freedom Caucus. Arguments. This is from Andy Roth. The State Freedom Caucus Network has been working with Louisiana Freedom Caucus as well as the Election Integrity Network to build local awareness in Louisiana about this important amendment. It is crucial for election integrity in Louisiana to keep Zuckerbucks and foreign money out of the realm of influence in America elections. Interesting. Uh uh oh i have to go back in the tight vnc uh, it logged me out sorry oh can you scroll it for me eric i can't scroll it i got locked out of tight vnc oh eric disappeared so maybe Oh, Eric got locked out too. Okay, so I don't know, guys. Maybe I can pull it up um, here. Um, Sorry, guys. I have to... Uh, Eric might have lost connection. That's probably why Type BNC dropped out. Let me see if I got a message. Nope. Okay. Let me just pull it up from the Dropbox. Do, 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 do. But that's for tomorrow for Louisiana. So just FYI for those of you that are there. Um, and I don't see this anywhere else in the folder. So I don't know. I could pull it from Twitter. Sorry. Do, 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 do. I thought there was one more thing that I needed to mention on there. That's why I didn't want to miss that. Let me see. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. Okay. Come out here and I'll just share my screen. But like I said, I think I said most of it, but there's one more thing here that I did want to show. 
And that's, um, I thought there was one more part down here that you needed to see. Oh, there was no campaign fin mon finance money spent for or against it. And then where are we here? Oh, yeah. Louisiana Amendment 2, constitutional right to worship in a church or a place of worship amendment. A yes vote supports providing in-state constitution that the freedom to worship in a church or other place of worship is a fundamental right that is worthy of the highest order of protection and providing that a legal challenge brought against a state or a local government action for conflicting with the right would be required to be examined by a court with uh, strict scrutiny. This is interesting. Um, one of the things that Roger added was, is that this is a direct response to the mandated uh, lockdowns issued by Governor Edwards, where Ed Edwards issued a stay at home order March 22nd, 2020, directing all Louisiana residents to shelter at home and limit movements outside of their homes beyond essential needs. On April 30th, 2020, government, Governor Edwards extended his stay at a home order until May 15th, 2020. People's First Amendment rights were violated when they were not allowed to gather in their place of worship. So that's something that Roger brought up there. And uh, so that will be on the ballot tomorrow. For those of you that live in Louisiana, no money spent for or against it. And then, wait, how many? I thought there were just two of these. Okay. I didn't, for some reason, when I opened this earlier, there were only two of these. I don't know why there's four of these now. Okay. Sorry about that guys. I'm going to have to kind of speed through these because I didn't, I still have one more thing. Okay. Uh, Louisiana amendment three state retirement system funding amendment. Uh, a yes vote supports requiring a minimum of 25% of state revenue that is designated as non-recurring to be applied to the balance of the un unfunded liability of the state retirement system. So that will also be on the ballot as well. And do, 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 do. that's supported by Republicans. As you can see, no money spent to support or oppose. And the last one is uh, Louisiana Amendment 4, prohibit property tax exemptions for nonprofits owning damaged residential property. A yes vote supports prohibiting nonprofit organizations from receiving a property tax exemption if they own residential property that is in such a state of despair that it is dangerous to the public's health or safety as determined by the governing authority of the municipality or parish the property is located in. So that's an interesting one. Prohibit property tax exemptions for nonprofits. And then I just want to say, cause I have to kind of speed through this. Uh, one of the notes from Roger was nonprofit organization, not being taxed exempt. You say that sounds like a savvy special Sabrina. Did you write this? Did they call you up and get your advice or is the Louisiana legislative staff watching the stabby? So yeah, that was interesting. Um, they didn't get it from me. I don't think, but yeah, people know how I feel about that. It's supported by uh, the democratic party and state representative Gabe uh, Ferment, who is Republican. So you have bipartisan support here, no money spent for, or, uh,